Hi, I'm Lisa Marie and welcome to my channel, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. Today I was invited to join in a collaboration called What Would You Do? where we use wood items to create home decor pieces. I'll tell you more about that later in the video. But for now, let's get crafting. I have three different sized pumpkins. They are all from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be making a really cute wall hanging using all three of them together. So the first thing I need to do is remove tags, remove extra embellishments. I need to sand off the glitter because you know that stuff gets everywhere. On this one, I need to remove the little jack-o'-lantern face and nose and eyes because I'm not gonna need that part. And then on the last one, I'm just gonna sand it because it's got kind of like rough edges. So I just wanna make sure that there are no splinters or sharp edges left behind. Next thing, I'm gonna take the first pumpkin that I'm gonna get ready to use, and I'm gonna use my White Kills Primer paint just to put down a coat of white because I'm gonna be putting tissue paper over the top, and I don't want the wood grain to show. I want it to be white underneath. And I've got this gorgeous buffalo plaid tissue paper that I think I got at the Dollar Tree, and if I didn't, it was Michael's. I wish I could remember. I'm just gonna use my Mod Podge, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do half and then the other half because it's a lot easier if you when you have a bigger piece to do it in pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay down the Mod Podge, smooth my tissue paper over the top, flip it around and do the same thing to the other side. In order to eliminate as many wrinkles and bubbles as I can, I put a piece of saran wrap over the top and use my brayer, which you will find in my Amazon store link below, along with all my other tools that I'm able to link there. And it really makes a difference. It really does not leave behind any bubbles or wrinkles. And then once it dries, I'm gonna take some of my sanding sponge from the Dollar Tree and very lightly, only going downward, go around the edges and the tissue paper will just separate perfectly from the wood edge. And it really, really works and it comes out so clean. I love doing this. The next thing I'm gonna do is drop another coat of Mod Podge over the top because I do wanna make sure that that is protected. And then I'm gonna go on to the next pumpkin. This pumpkin, I'm gonna use the pumpkin color chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm, I'm using the back side because I don't wanna use the other side that had the glitter and stuff on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do several coats until it's covered perfectly. And then I'm gonna take my plaster chalk paint and a little round dabber, and I'm gonna put polka dots all over this pumpkin. And then I'm gonna do each one twice to try to make it a little darker. And then I go back in with a little art brush and fill them in so that they're a little more solid because I kinda like that look better. And moving on to the last little pumpkin, I'm gonna put some Mod Podge down and I've got this super cute shiplap looking scrap of paper. I'm just trying to figure out where I wanna lay it. Because this is paper and not tissue, I can just do the brayer right over the top without using any of the saran wrap. I'm gonna trim around the edges, do the brayer again, and then I'm gonna use a blade and get a better, closer cut. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dry brush a little bit with the plaster all the way around the edges also. And then I'm gonna take a black marker. I'm gonna kind of fill back in those shiplap lines and then put a little bit more of the plaster over it just to give it that distressed worn look, but make sure the lines are distinct enough that you can see them. Now I'm gonna cover the back of all three pumpkins with my craft paper. All I do is cut out a piece that will fit, hot glue around the edges, lay it down, and then trim around the edges of the paper, and that's it. I like my projects to be finished on the back, whether I paint them or use craft paper. For each of the stems, I'm gonna use jute twine. On the little pumpkin and the medium-sized pumpkin, I'm gonna use the very small jute twine from the Dollar Tree and just hot glue it on there going around and around. And then on the larger pumpkin, I'm going to use the bigger jute twine. But I got that one from Walmart. Very good deal there, by the way. And I'm just gonna put that one on there the same way I did the other ones. So the next thing I'm gonna do is try to figure out how do I want to arrange these and attach them to each other. So after a little bit of playing around, I figured out what I thought looked to be a nice way to do it, and I'm just gonna hot glue the pieces to each other. I don't think this requires E6000. You can certainly do that if you're worried about it, but the way I'm probably gonna be using it, I don't think it's a problem. Now I'm gonna take this cute little berry garland that I get from Dollar Tree, and I'm literally going to wrap this around a marker so that it's like a curly cute little pumpkin kind of a stick. And then I've got some leaves from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna cut them and hot glue them to either side of the stem. And I'm just trying to give this a little bit more interest and color and, you know, just kind of make it more fun. And 
then I've got some really cute little leaves that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance, 40% off. I'm gonna add them to each of the pumpkins and I just think that adds a really nice texture and just a whole kind of other level that for me personally, I just really like the way it looks. And then I'm just gonna put some jute twine on the back, a little bit of tape with hot glue and that's it. I think this sign is so fun and really cute and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. As I mentioned earlier, today's video is part of a collaboration that my friend Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating does every month. What would you do? And we use wood and make home decor pieces. I love doing this collab, it's so much fun. I'll have the playlist down in my description box. Be sure to go down after you finish this video and check out the other videos. I'll still have a link to Jenny's channel. She's amazing and I absolutely love her channel. And if you've come over from one of the other channels, welcome. I am so happy to meet you. I'm thankful that you're watching my video. I hope my channel is a fun place where you can come and be inspired to create something. I do all different decor styles. There's something here for everyone. If you like what you see, be sure to hit the like button. That really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it. I'm using these three little kind of box frames. Two of them are from the Dollar Tree and one I got on huge clearance for 79 cents at Hobby Lobby. You aren't going to believe what I'm going to do with these because I just saw this on one of my favorite YouTube channels, Chalk It Up Fancy. They didn't do this exact thing but it inspired me to do this. I'm also going to use some wood beads and some little square wood blocks from the Dollar Tree and I end up just using the little jute twine there and then the pumpkin color chalk paint from Waverly and the agave color chalk paint from Waverly and the cashew colored chalk paint from Waverly. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is measure each of two different sides of my boxes because I wanna drill a hole right in the center. So I'm only gonna show me doing the one, but I'm gonna do the same thing on all three of the boxes and two sides of them, and I'm just gonna drill a hole right through on two opposing sides. Then I'm going to use my heat tool and I'm just going to get rid of all the little stickers and price tags. And then on the front of this one, there's a piece of leather that was hot glued there. So I will also heat that up and remove that. That was a little tricky, but I did get it off. And once I did, it required some sanding because it was a little bit rough when there was still some glue left over. Then I'm going to take my little ladybug vacuum and clean up all the little dust from sanding. That does a great job. And now on the two dot boxes from the Dollar Tree, since I'm using the back, there's like a little seam on three of the sides. So I'm going to use some of my spackle and I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in and I'm going to set it to dry. I'm going to take my pumpkin color chalk paint and I'm going to paint the larger of the three little signs. And I'm going to do the whole thing, front, back, sides, everything in that pumpkin color. It takes about two coats. I only do one coat on the back though. I'm just trying to make it look nice. Then I move back to the two little Dollar Tree signs and now it's dry and I can sand the spackle and then I'm going to use my agave paint on one and do the same thing, paint the front sides and back, two coats on the front and sides and then the cashew color on the other one, two coats as well. Then I'm going to use this really cool liquid adhesive that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut up some scrapbook paper. I picked three pieces for each of the signs that I thought looked kind of cool together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make each of the papers one smaller than the next. So the very first one I want small enough so you can still see the paint around the edges. Then the second one I want you to be able to see the previous scrapbook paper and the same thing with the third one. And when I put them all together you will see exactly what I'm talking about. 
And then after I position them and see what it's gonna look like, I take my little scissors and I'm using it to kind of rough up the edges. I learned this trick from my friend Linda at Faith Chick 777 and it's such a cool thing to do and I'll link her channel below. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use that liquid adhesive and I'm gonna put each piece of scrap of paper on, use my brayer to flatten it and then do the next piece and the next piece. And I'm gonna do that with all three of my boxes. I'm not gonna make you watch all of the details but I'll just show you once they're cut out and ready to be applied. Now that all my scrap of paper has been applied, I'm going to use Antique Wax by Waverly and I'm going to mist my brush with some water and then I'm going to paint the little square blocks as I'm going to create pumpkin stems. Now I also want to do the beads, so what I'm doing is spraying some of the water inside this little bowl and then getting my brush full of the Antique Wax and then going ahead and painting them all inside the bowl. And now I'm hot gluing two little wood blocks to the smaller pumpkins. And then I'm gonna do four to the larger one. And it's just so cute, oh my gosh, because now they really look like little pumpkins. Next, I'm gonna take my jute twine. I'm gonna try putting some hot glue on the end and see if that'll work to thread it through the holes on the signs. It only works for a couple of beads and then I end up having to put a little tape around the end and that works much better. So I'm gonna pull it through, as you see, through the back and then I'm gonna pull a bunch of slack on the twine and then I'm gonna string it through the other two. So the larger one will be in the middle, but I'm using some beads as like a pattern. So two small ones and a larger one, putting the next sign on and then doing the same thing. And I'm gonna add beads to each end and then I'm gonna make tassels. Now I have a video that I will link in the description box that goes into great detail about how to make a tassel but just for the purpose of this video I'm going to do it quickly and then you can always go there if you don't already know how to make one and then it will show you in detail. But for now I'm just literally making two tassels that I wrapped around my fingers 15 times each. And now I'm trimming the little tails of the tassels and then I'm going to tie them on to the ends of each side of the signs. And of course I knotted it first so that the beads couldn't fall off. And then I'm going to add three more beads to the ends and that's it you guys and I absolutely love this one. It might be my favorite. Let me know what you think. Besides YouTube, feel free to connect with me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Same name, Living My Best Life with Lisa Marie. I post all kinds of stuff on there behind the scenes and just what's going on in my day-to-day -day life. Hope to see you there. Do you love mega videos? Check out the link in my description box for a playlist of just that. For this DIY, I used this really long black pumpkin sign from the Dollar Tree. Now I cut it in half and I made sure they were both the same exact length. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint it in the plaster color chalk paint by Waverly. And I end up giving it two coats. And I'm not going to do the back side, just the front. And then on the other one, I'm just doing the back side. But I am going to do around the edges on both pieces. Next, I need to trace out that little pumpkin because I wanna put a piece of scrap of paper there, which I have right there. I'm gonna use that liquid adhesive and I'm going to just attach it right to that inside part. And then I'm gonna put my top piece back on and I have a little buffalo plaid pumpkin sticker and I'm gonna attach that right there. And then I'm gonna hot glue the top piece to the bottom piece. And now I've got a nice thick sign. 
and I'm gonna use my Agave Chalk Paint by Waverly to dry brush right over the surface and then heavily around the edges. So dry brushing, just put a little on my brush, wipe most of it off, and then drag it across the surface. I accidentally glued the two pieces together before I put another hole through. <laughs> so I used my little pokey tool from the Dollar Tree and I was able to get a hole going through the other side and put the hanger back on. And now I'm using some Dollar Tree stickers and I'm gonna spell out hello, and then another set of stickers to say pumpkin. And then I'm gonna cover this sign with Mod Podge and that's it. And it's so simple, but it's so cute. And I love the agave because I'm using the pumpkin color in the agave in my decor and then just really loving the combination. You'll have to let me know what you think and what colors are you decorating in if you are decorating for the autumn or fall, however you describe it. I'm just curious to know what people are using this year. There's just so many options. Or do you just go traditional, which I love as well? And now for one last look at all three of my wood-based DIYs. Now, I love these. I hope you guys really like them too. And do me a favor, when you're done with this video, go down to my description box and click on the playlist and watch the rest of the videos in this collaboration. My friend Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating, who hosted it, does a wonderful job with this collaboration every single month. And I just know you're gonna enjoy all the other videos. It's so much fun to create fall decor. That's my favorite season. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite season is. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so happy that you were here and I can't wait to see you in my next video. I appreciate the time that you take to watch my videos. It means so much. And remember, you are a blessing to